Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode on our 95 Classic Mini Cyborg. So, we are kind of cracking on with all the winter TLC. Um, I'm not really going into massive amounts of depth with this because I am a bit crunched for time. Um, I've kind of got stuff to do on that. We've got to move some cars around, we're trying to keep content going on other cars. We're trying to get, <laughs> yeah, it's just getting everywhere. But there's basically a time scale on that car um, just to, obviously we've got Wheelsland Dudno which we want to attend in it. Um, and we are on display with Mini Mine at the um, British Mini Club show at Bingley Hall. So I want to get both them two big goals for January sorted on the car. So there's no need to like a restoration or how to or anything like that. It's basically kind of video vlogs of what I was doing. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. So, so far we've managed to get all the welding done on the underside. We managed to get the underside of the arches and everything painted. Um, I've kind of gone over and had a look underneath. Yeah, there's some bits and pieces that need sorting, but there's nothing that's gonna stop it getting an MOT. Um, it's just showing its age. It's been on the road proper mileage for like six years. I drive it in all weathers, um, right or wrong. I, you know, I'm not gonna start that argument because it's it's not something that really needs to be debated at the moment. It's, um, I drive it whenever. I do try and avoid the salt, but at the end of the day, if I want to go out in it, I'll take it out. It, it makes me happy, that car. So I don't go and drive it. At the end of the day, if it needs paint on the side again, we just paint on the side again. So hope you can appreciate the work we're doing. Um, we're just trying to get obviously going with the car and kind of get it back together. but. Let's get stuck into this video. We've got parts. So, obviously, quick shout out to Mini Mine. So, Mini Mine are a classic mini specialist. Uh, they sponsor the channel. Absolutely cracking company, cracking bunch of people. Um, there's a discount code on the screen now so you can go and get yourself 10% off when you spend £15 or more on their eBay shop. I went to their eBay shop, and that's where we've got all the bits to do the classic mini sidewalk. So, we've got a few bits in it, so let's get stuck in. Let's bring you guys in, let's have a look. So, I love new parts today, so let's get stuck into it. Always on point, always on time, and uh, yeah, a few bits that we need. So, in here we've got a rear wheel bearing, so we need that. I've always bought from them decent products. To go with that, I always change the castle nut or hub nut with a new split pin, so we've got that. Uh, what have we got in here? Hey, I've got an idea what this is. Yes. So, this is a set of plugs. Not really part of winter TLC, but I change the plugs every year on it, um, just like I do with the oil. So we've got some, the correct for the SPI minis, the NGK spark plugs. Um, another little package in here, with a few bits and bats, and two knuckle joints. So they're for the rear stop frame. And in here, I think I know what this is. Let's get a little knife, or a blade. So in here, I was toying with the idea of swapping my exhaust yet again. Um, so I just, as a precaution, ordered an MG Rover cat pipe um, gasket. So we won't be fitting that in this episode, but it's there in the same shipment just in case I need it. So massive thank you for Mini Mine. Only a few serviceable bits, but they're well worth getting. Good quality stuff. There isn't a better place to go for your classic mini bits. So without further ado, let's get these bits stuck in. The brake drums have all been painted up. So that's all sorted, dried overnight. One of many Milwaukee tools I got for Christmas. Buzzing with that, a nice torch. Very good, love the tools. And Matt's back again. So we are getting cracking. Like I say, we had the knuckle joints to do. So Matt's managed to get this one out. You can see why I'm replacing them now. <laughs> well, that didn't look like that was actually, yeah. And then there's your new one, but we've got the caps 
and we've just both been battling to get them out. Uh, that's the one from Matt's side. He got it out a little bit more than one piece. Um, and then I've got it in like five different pieces. But these are two different brands. So this one's quite supple still, and this one's just absolutely cracked. So we'll get them swapped out. These are from Mini Mine, these ones. And uh, let's get them back in. Might give things a bit of a clean up, but we've got the, the drums to go back on. Off camera, unfortunately, I have just lost the footage. Um, bearings all done, so that's back in. And we've got the knuckle to go back in on there. Shock to be secured back up. And uh, then we're wheel cylinder, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, hopefully she'll be back on the floor soon. <laughs> and then this winter overhaul is kind of coming to an end. Well, we need to do seat diaphragms. They've just arrived, but that won't be in this episode. But um, let's get cracking. More time lapsing. So these new knuckles are very simple. They just come out, out there. So there's copper slip in there. So it makes life a lot easier. So obviously I did these many years ago. And um, yeah, let's put some copper slip back on this one. Put it back in there. Matt's cleaning up the high lows. If we can get that out. Still come out. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, I'll get it out. Don't worry about <laughs> so it. So yeah, Matt's cleaning up high lows and yeah, we can get everything back together. So we've been pretty busy now. So I'll just show you this side. We've got the drum back on, adjusted as you've just seen, the high-low back in, greased up with the new knuckle, um, and then this side just built back up and the fuel tank's back in, which you just saw me do then. So all down here, obviously this is no show car, uh, but it's looking a lot better, isn't it? So a bit tidier, everything's reconditioned basically. And then we'll go from there. And now Matt is doing the exciting task you okay there, Matt? I'm, I'm all right, mate, I'm all right. So yeah, we're stripped out. We have um, may or may not have used heat. Um, it just needed a little bit. Just it, needed, it, it needed a tickle, didn't the it? The bleed nipple was seized in there, and it's just so you don't end up snapping brake pipes just under the nipple. Yeah, we don't really want to do that tonight, do we? No. So the new cylinder is ready, and now we can get it going. Yep. Then we'll get bleeding. This is the harder side, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, this is the knuckle from the other side. Yeah, that's pretty far gone, that. Um, but yeah, now we just, like I say, Matt's having some fun. Yeah. Where is the new cylinder? Yeah. Not here. So yeah, we've got these. I, um, I bought two. Uh, the other side's been done already, like last year, so this is the other one. Uh, so these are from Mini Mine as well, I believe. So yeah, it's done quite well on the other side, which hopefully replaces the bleed nipple as well, which is always good, because they always seize up. Uh, but yeah, we've just got to get this old crusty one off. I like that it comes with a new gasket and a new clip as well. Yeah, it's so quite, it's... Like, I, I was panicking a little bit, because these never survive, but it comes with comes with both of them in their little kit, so OPR is the brand of them. But I've kind of, this seems to be all right, so but hopefully we can get this off. That back plate looks horrible, but it is only surface rust, but we're not, we're not, we're not doing a restoration here, are we, Matt? No, no. Just maintenance. Yeah, this Just is a get this out of the way so we can move some stuff around kind of job and also MAT prep. These clips are a pain in the ass well. Yeah, so as you've just heard from Matt, these clips, which is why I was really glad that it came with a new clip, um, it's been a bit of a twat in it, Matt. It is, it's a pain in the backside. So we got new and so we can absolutely butcher that one. 
because we have a new one. There is actually a tool that many mines sell to oh, re-put these back on. The Look at that, it went straight in the bucket. <laughs> but you can do that again, could you? No. <laughs> so, we've got the new bits there. It's coming. It's always, it's always next Christmas. So hopefully I shouldn't have a locking up wheels now. Just one flat at a time. <laughs> it's not too bad behind here to be honest, your back plates aren't bad. No, they, they, they were, were done the probably about 10 years, years ago. So. And all the um, handbrake things look okay as well. Yeah. Good. It kind of had a brake overhaul, proper overhaul where it had everything replaced probably about four yeah. year, three, four years ago. but. I'll just keep adjusting stuff off and it seems to be all right. That's but it. The stats obviously cause a bit of an issue now. In goes the new one. Oops. There we go. Don't hold it there. Press it. There we go, she's in. Perfect. So yeah, looking at the condition of the old one, obviously the exterior always looks crusty. So it was just seeping through on the boot and you can kind of see a bit of brake, build up a brake dust there, just on that bit. So yeah, it needed to be done. Definitely, don't muck around with brakes. No. So, big thanks to Matt. We've got the uh, cylinder all done now. Now it's time to get the wheels back on. Look at that, looks good archless. But yeah, so, once gun's out, let's get the wheels on, get it on the floor, let it settle, and then it's time for some food. Nice. Cool, right, we'll get that torque down, but get it on the floor for now. Yeah. There you go, back down on the floor, still got to put this arch back on. I do like an arch, this mini. Stay tuned, guys. That is all I'm saying. But yeah, so all the um, big work's really done. Got some spot plugs to fit now, and yeah, then it's a big wash and then obviously we need to take it for a bit of a drive, make sure everything's all good, but all the maintenance work's done. She's back, she should be back. Right guys, so you can hear her running in the background. I've just taken her for a quick spin and uh, yeah, we sorted the brake issue. So it now just stops really, really well. Um, there's no locking on one side and the car starting to move, which is obviously dangerous. Um, so that wheel cylinder is well worth doing. Um, next point of call, uh, some spark plugs. Just gonna throw them in. And uh, yeah, I think she'll be done then. Well, she, she's not done. There's nothing perfect about this car anymore, but <laughs> there's a lot to do, but I think it'll be okay for a good few shows yet. Um, there's a few things I've noticed I also want to address as well. So always adding to the ever growing list of classic mini maintenance. So I'm buzzing. She's um, had some TLC, which is needed for a long, long time. So yeah, really happy with that. Right, let's get the spark plugs in the car. And then that's kind of the winter prep over. Just a long, long ro uh, road trip, hopefully. Better fit back in. We should be golden. Right, so that's the last one. They've been in about a year. Pretty healthy, to be fair. Nothing mad going on there, but it's always worth just doing them, uh, swapping them out. As you can see, copper slip. There's the freshie, looking all good. So, last one just to put in here. 
Always remember copper slip guys. I can't tell you how many minis I've bought where they've not been copper slips and just swinging. Just trying to get the spark plug out. It's absolutely ridiculous. So just nick that up. You don't have to go mad, mad tight with them. There you go. Plug back in. Perfect. There we have it. One very grubby used engine <laughs> and uh, some brand new spark plugs. So I've already sorted the oil off camera. Um, that's all been done, so we're fresh on that. I mean, it, it leaks enough so anyway, it gets an oil change pretty much every month. Uh, but yeah, golden. Let's get these clips back on. One thing I do do, which is a bit of a top tip, I never bin, I keep the spark plugs after I've uh, done the service for a good few miles, just in case. Um, I've had it, especially with the Mazda, I used to keep the, 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 the spark plugs just uh, as a backup, you know, if you ever, because they, you know, these can fail, anything can fail, so, uh, but yeah. Golden, right, we'll get them put away. And that's the job done. Right, let's do a quick start up, make sure we're all good to go. Cannot beat a healthy spark on a car. Perfect. Right, so that brings the TLC to a close, guys. Right, so let's just quickly go through what we've done in this episode. We've got new knuckles on the rear, so on the rear by lows. Um, gone through, checked everything. I've just gone through and greased everything off camera. Uh, we've got the wheel cylinder on. Took it up and down the, the lane for a drive. It stops really nice. It's not sliding anywhere. So that is the biggest safety critical thing sorted. Uh, wheel bearing, unfortunately I did lose the footage off that, I can only apologise. Um, just before Christmas, this is going to be filmed over a few weeks, this video. Um, I had an SD, SD card corruption and it just, it, yeah, it, it bogged up a few videos that I lost a few stuff off. So I can only apologise, but it is very simple doing a wheel bearing. Whenever I next need to do another one, I will film it for you guys if you really want to see it. But there is, it is, there's quite a few videos available of it and it literally took me 20, 20 odd minutes to do. So, what's next to the Mini? I'm kind of on top of all the maintenance now. I've noticed a few bits that I do want to go through, which will obviously crack on mini mine when the time's right, and we'll go and get them bits ordered. Um, but next job really on this car is the two seat diaphragms on the front seats. Um, I don't want to do real slam dud no without them being done because the fabric on this car is incredibly rare to find. I don't want to sit on the seat and rip it even more. Um, the seat actually is in great condition. It's just through fatigue and age, the, you know, the rubber diaphragm's gone. I'm not exactly the smallest of blokes, so you know it's had over 10 years of me batting up and down the motorways in it and going around the back roads and enjoying it. So I've probably snapped that, but the car is well over 20 years old, so it's gonna break. But again, we've got some genuine MG Rover ones to go on the car, um, so I found them. So they're gonna be the next episode. I don't know how much of that I'll be able to film. I've never done it before. I look, it looks like an absolute arse of a nut job, but we will get on with it. I'll try and film as much as I possibly can for you guys. Um, but yeah, if not, if you're at Real Flan Dunno, come say hi. We're at 99.9 certain I'll be in this. I've just got to do the diaphragms now. Um, if not, we will be in a modern Mini, but we'll be there anyway, so I'll, I'll be up and down the promenade, but I am hoping to take this car, um, because it, I feel like it's, I love that run out, it's fun, I love going to Wales anyway. So thank you for watching, remember to, to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, um, get, make sure, like I say, go check out Mini Mine and get, use your discount code, get your bits and pieces off. Behind me, you've got Frost as well, so there are a discount code for them guys to go and get all your paints, consumables, tools and stuff like that, so please go ahead and use that. Um, follow the link below for all that. Right. Time to enjoy this car, I think, now. So, we're with London, though, Bingley Hall. Make sure you're there, guys. Come say hi. And, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.